Hey everybody, we're getting started with my slow cooker sloppy joes and it takes about six to eight hours on high so I'm getting it started now. Uh, I am cooking with a cup and a half of carrots or roundabout, um, a cup and a fourth of a cup, one and one fourth cup of onion. Uh, we're going to do a cup and a half of lentils and we got green lentils. The recipe says brown but I think green will be just fine. And then we need two cups of brown rice which we have here and the original recipes also says to use uh, textured vegetable protein or TVP but I personally am not going to use that and I'm going to replace it with a can of great northern beans instead so that's what we're doing and the great thing about this is we can dump it all in so I'm going to start with my onions and then do all my carrots this is a cup measuring cup so we're using a cup and a half which is roughly what I chopped for the carrots and we'll do the green lentils one and a half cups two cups of brown rice okay, let's see we need three-fourths of a cup of ketchup oh and we need a whole can of diced tomatoes so in the original recipe it says to drain the diced tomatoes but I'm choosing not to do that since you need to add water to it anyway so I'm just putting everything in tomatoes and all and also the recipe doesn't include this but I am going to add a bouillon cube which is what you add to make it taste like vegetable broth okay now three-fourths of a cup of ketchup We need three tablespoons of maple syrup. And we also need one tablespoon of mustard, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Now, the original recipe says to use yellow mustard. We didn't have that, we just have Dijon mustard. But since it's only a tablespoon, that should be quite fine. And the only other thing I need to add is marjoram. I'm supposed to add a teaspoon of it. A teaspoon is one third of a tablespoon, so that's why I'm measuring it in here. We get our spoon to mix it all up. And then it says to add about five or six cups of water. So I'm going to add a couple of cups of water. See how full we are in our slow cooker. And then move from there okay that's four cups of water but uh, I'm gonna stop there just because I'm close to getting full on my slow cooker and then if it does get too thick I can always add more water later okay. all right then we'll just let it cook away okay so we've let this cook for about seven hours and I'll show you what it looks like here and you'll see all the brown rice and lentils have completely soaked up this water and I did have to add a couple more uh, cups of water as it was cooking because it was getting a little dry and seven hours was about the perfect time for us uh, for the lentils to completely be all the way cooked through and if you want this to be a deeper more normal sloppy joe color you can always add more tomato paste or um, add a little bit more ketchup but that will add more sweetness so uh, that's up to you but to me it tastes exactly the same as sloppy joes what i always do i don't know if this was something i just grew up with or if everybody does this but i always eat them with ruffles because uh, i think it always pairs well with the sloppy joes and then just get a bun like you normally would and pile it on there and this freezes really well if you want to freeze it there you are your sloppy sloppy joe with no meat but it tastes just the same 
Thank you guys so much for joining me. And if you didn't catch that, all this makes a whole bunch of servings. So you can freeze it, you can refrigerate it. It will last for a long, long time. So enjoy.